Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 15th of August 2022. So the Michigan survey of Friday boosts risk to confirm fourth weekly gain for the S&P and including the Dow as well. Uh, UK news on Friday, of course, we had uh, the GDP numbers and uh, the UK economy uh, shrank by 0.1% in the second quarter as recession fears grow. And if we just go back to Friday's uh, news there from uh, Forex Factory minus 0.6 a month on month. What's being reported there is uh, an annual uh, figure by Sky News. And then we've got uh, the prelim US uh, UN consumer sentiment. This came out uh, stronger than forecast, which is inflationary, which is bad for the stock market, which is actually good for the stock market, which we'll see in just a moment. And the gold silver ratio uh, you can see there is currently sideways at 87. So a uh, bit of support at this level at the moment, 87 pieces of silver to one ounce of gold. So kicking off with the Dow, strong move to the upside on Friday. Let's just look at the 30 minute chart uh, first, get an idea of what happened. You can see there the market moving up strongly on uh, the news, the prelim. And if we just have a look at the total move for Friday, you will see it was uh, another 371 points from the high down to the low or low to high, whichever way you prefer that. And in the daily charts, uh, also from this uh, low that we had back in July to Friday's high, we're now seeing a total of three and a half thousand points from low to high. So this market needs uh, some sort of uh, pullback and a bit of a breather. Uh, we've got the 200 MA in the way there in the Dow daily. And if we look at the weekly or the monthly, let's just have a look at the monthly charts and draw in some fibs here, it'd probably be easier. Uh, you can see that we've got the 20 bar moving average at this level as well, 78. We've just gone through 62. And just for good fun, let's have a look at uh, the weekly chart as well. You can see last week we drove through the 89% and the 50 bar moving average. And if we go to the next, area where the market left behind a marker point there you can see again we're sort of between the two at the moment and we've also got this uh, resistance here where the market's broken through so the weekly chart looking really uh, good for a, a move back to the all-time highs which i suspect is where these markets uh, are headed in the german dax uh, market at 62 percent retracement of uh, the recent move which you can see there that's uh, down to the July low and making its way back. Not as strong as the Dow by any means, um, but uh, nonetheless still moving to the upside. Let's just have a look at uh, how many points this has moved up from this retracement level to here. And you can see 1300 points. So again, due for a correction with these sorts of moves. Uh, and also, as I pointed out before, you've only got a couple of red bars, which is uh, showing that the market's closed below the five bar moving average. And I like to use the five bar moving average as a measure of momentum. And we can see that the momentum at the moment is certainly to the upside. In the weekly chart of the DAX, let me just uh, spread this one out a bit. Again, we've got prices uh, moving higher, coming off that 89 back in July. And then from here, down to here you'll see that uh, we're at the golden ratio of 62 percent so an area where you could see some sort of uh, a bit of a pullback there as well 30 minute chart for friday it was uh, just up then the market waited for the news settled a bit and then when the us moved on the prelim news you can see how it just dragged the dax up uh, with it. it's off a bit today but uh, again watch the highs the market needs to keep closing above those highs the low is quite a distance off uh, what are we one 100 that's only 200 points but it's got the 200 ma in between that and the dp and the 50 bar moving average as well which uh, takes a lot of removing to the downside once you've got such a strong move going on on the upside in the five minute charts let's just have a look overnight uh, here you can see the markets more or less uh, sideways there uh, kicking off 
just after midnight gap down but it's been stuck in a range there's friday's continuing move into the evening as the down moved up making huge gains during friday the market uh, kicking off with a move to the upside then a bit of a pullback and then uh, repeat this uh, pattern until uh, the Dow opened when it traded sideways for a bit. And then uh, after the uh, sort of four o'clock when it stopped trading the DAX, the market continued to move to the upside there. And trades, let's just have a quick look. Um, here's the total. Didn't do a lot last week. Got a lot of other building things that I'm doing at the moment just to uh, get finished before we head into September. Uh, but nonetheless, still looking good. Flattened off a bit. Like I say, I've not been sitting at the desk as much as I would like. But then I'll spend all winter here, uh, which is which is fine. But while the weather's nice, I've just got a few jobs that I need to do before the winter turns up or the change in the weather. Uh, 2.9 profit factor, and we're still at that sort of uh, 54, uh, 46 uh, sort of uh, area win loss. But uh, no, no problem. Uh, profits are good. And in the S&P, we're at the 78% retracement. This is drawn from uh, here back up. So now you can see where that's drawn from. I'm just going to uh, reset the chart. And you'll see that, uh, again, like the Dow, we're close to that 200 MA, except on the S&P, we've got the 78% retracement there as well. Big move in the S&P as well, due for a correction uh, also. Big move on Friday as the market came off the DP after being oversold with the news and uh, at the moment sideways as well, stuck in a range. We're still in the school holes as well. We've got another couple of weeks yet of this. So uh, again, we're likely to see uh, potentially more on the upside. No one's going to come in and sell in August as a rule. It's a very rare event. And in the FTSE also moving to the upside within a, a whisker of the 89% retracement from here, the last major pivot to here, and uh, also sideways. And again, you can see how strong this market is. You've just had one day down where it's closed below the five bar moving average and then reversed the following day. So a nice pattern there for the FTSE 100. And in the end, weakness uh, on Friday and overnight, uh, retracing there back to that 62% retracement we've had drawn. And if that's taken out, we've got the 78 and the 89 level as well before we get to the green low there. And yeah, it's just sideways and weak, isn't it? Um, but predominantly uh, downside there, having a bit of a, a correction at the moment. Friday started to move higher, ran into the R1 and the 200 MA. Market uh, dropped down to the DP, bounced up to Thursday's high, and then sideways, and then overnight uh, some weakness uh, coming in there for the yen. The pound, given the GDP numbers on Friday, uh, was uh, moved a lower, the dollar higher, 50 bar moving average, giving this market a bit of grief, which is also coming off the 89. Uh, from Tuesday of last week, uh, Wednesday of last week, that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, so yeah, um, also if we look at this, uh, we've got the retracement that's going on at the moment. We'll go to here, as we're already towards the 200 MA, 62% uh, retracement there as uh, the market is uh, moving back there. Like I say, it's stuck on that 20 bar moving average uh, as well. And in the metals, uh, silver holding up well, um, which is really shocking more and surprising, uh, given that they like to uh, move this to the downside. However, we're down on the overnight, 78% uh, retracement holding. Inside of here, we've also got 100% retracement as well. So if we look at the 30-minute chart uh, up on Friday, not even uh, the 1 p.m. Uh, fix to the downside that uh, held above uh, 2050. Uh, but overnight, uh, having taken out Friday's high, the market has seen some selling and we're just coming back below the DP. The reason for this is uh, quite simple. Once we get uh, some aggressive selling coming back into the stock market, well, if we do, then uh, silver will follow it. Uh, that's what it's always done. So that's why it's holding up uh, quite well as in the daily chart at the moment. You're seeing the market move up from July, just as you've seen uh, the stock market, because again, um, from a, an industrial point of view with regards to silver, then uh, there's, a, you know, if the stock market's going up, then there must be demand for silver is basically 
the correlation there, which is complete or not a nonsense, but uh, that's how it uh, works. And uh, gold also uh, stuck in a sideways uh, move there, uh, over bought as well. And 30 minutes moving to the upside on those prelim numbers uh, because they're inflationary, uh, but uh, discounted overnight with the market coming down quite sharply for gold there. And uh, the dollar sideways to higher, uh, back above the five bar moving average. So pressure on metals and uh, the pound. And finally, we've got uh, crude oil, uh, which is uh, showing some supply for Friday and moving down slightly there. So what I would be inclined to do is just to draw in some fibs on the downside just to see where that's coming back to. So the lower crude goes, the better off we're all going to be uh, in tackling uh, this winter. And while I'm thinking about it, which I forgot to mention, uh, economic news for this week. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Uh, holidays today for the French and the Italians, Empire State manufacturing from the US. On Wednesday, we've got the CPI numbers forecast at 9.9, 9.4. We know these are completely uh, delusional. And uh, from the twilight zone, the real figures are around 17 to 20%. And uh, that's not even accounting for the energy prices, which is going to see based upon all of the uh, inflammatory language that was on the uh, news media last week of a 500% increase and also dominating the news uh, today as well. Uh, US retail sales and also uh, FOMC meeting minutes on Wednesday and the rest becomes medium impact for the rest of the week there but we'll see that as we go through the week okay that will do it for this one let's see if we get any sort of pullback today in the markets um but uh we'll have to just wait and see like i say it's usually uh, september before we start to see that of any great note so any short trades tend to be short-lived okay that's it uh, for this one as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one